What's up Godzilla fans, Good Year 5400 here, and today I am uh, here to do the second installment of my Let's Play of Godzilla Smash 3. And, uh, I got some things to talk about. Oh, I mainly got one thing to talk about. Oh, this is the move limits. This is where it kind of gets a little annoying. But, uh, recently, or, as I'm, as I'm doing this video, the movie's not even over. I just watched it on a website, the Lego movie. And my god, that is actually a great movie. <laughs> I was like, oh my god, what is everybody talking about? It's just a stupid Lego movie. You know, it's like, oh, it's a, it's a movie about Legos. Nothing good can come out of it. But I'll admit, I was totally wrong. I mean, that movie was actually really awesome. That's a good comment. But, it was a really good movie, I will say. I mean, I can't believe that. I can't believe, like, I don't think I've actually ever been this surprised by a movie. Because it seems the dumbest, it seems like the dumbest idea ever. But it turns out that the Lego movie is actually good. <laughs> I mean, that, that's a big surprise to me. It is probably my second favorite film of 2014, right next to Godzilla. That's a pretty, you know, deserving spot on my list. You know, I mean, I can't believe that I'm saying this and it's about Legos. But, I don't know how, but that film was pretty good, in my opinion. So I just wanted to get that out of the way. But... Other than that, there's really not that much about the movie I can really say, because this is kind of a spoiler thing. You know, it would be spoilers. But, you know, it was a good movie. Now, uh, a little on to the topic I was originally going to talk about. Well, I wanted to talk about uh, Godzilla games. And uh, more... Of how I think a Godzilla game, you know, how a Godzilla game should be. Now, this isn't, you know, a bad Godzilla game. I actually kind of like this, you know. Now that I'm taking the time to take a look at it, I actually find it a pretty cool thing, you know. It's definitely not my least favorite Godzilla game. There's a lot of Godzilla games that are actually pretty dang stupid. I mean, this is a pretty, you know, good one, I guess. Certainly not my favorite, though, like I've said before. But I just want to talk a little about uh, how I think a Godzilla game should be made. Now, I did do a video on that. I'll leave a link in the description to that video so you guys can go check it out. It, it, I guess it's a pretty interesting video, and I talk a little about this game. So, you know, there's that. But, yeah, now... My thoughts on the game, though. Now, I'm gonna go in, like, very brief kind of detail here. I think you should have a Godzilla game where it's a free roam world, meaning that if you want to go to the UK, you can go to the UK. If you want to go to Tokyo, you can go to Tokyo. If you want to go, you know, to any of these places, you can go anywhere. You, you can even go to, like, Monster Island, the little coasts, oceans, and stuff like that. And little by little, they can keep updating the game over and over and stuff. And, by the way, I figured out something. All I gotta do is do that, and then I don't have to watch the ad, yay. But, you know, little by little, they could update it, and you could choose from really any Godzilla. You could go from uh, Showa era, to Heisei era, to Millennium, to Legendary. I mean, that would be a pretty cool thing, honestly. I think that would be a cool concept for Godzilla game. You could also, like, kind of fight against random opponents. And Unleash kind of did that, but they kind of didn't. They kind of, uh, I don't want to say messed up there, but, oh, here we go. But they kind of, uh, could have expanded on it a little more. Like, uh, sometimes, you know, you're fighting, and you see Kiryu. Like, let's say, you know what, here's a better example. Let's say you are Godzilla, and King Ghidorah comes, right? So then you have a choice whether to fight against him, 
or destroy, you know, the whole city. They're just that kind of thing. I, I think it would be cool if you could benefit from that. You know, and, uh, do, I don't know, like, uh, you could even do, I'm trying to, you know, think what I said, I forget. But you could even do something like Godzilla, you know, just have the basic controls of Godzilla game, like everybody would like. Because I honestly didn't mind the controls in Godzilla Unleashed, but I know there's a lot of people who apparently just, you know, feel they have to hate on it. And, you know, I can understand, but I wouldn't really go that far in saying, like, you know, they're dead horrible. Because I actually find it pretty easy to, you know, control. But that's just me. Anyways, but, you know, have the basic controls. I would even be fine if they had the graphics of this game right now that I'm playing Godzilla Smash 3. But I, I think it would be a really cool concept if they could, do, you know, if they could pull something like that off. I just think that would be pretty awesome. And uh, you could upgrade Godzilla, which is another thing that people totally unlook. Like, uh, they don't, they just look right through this game. But this game has a really cool concept, upgrading Godzilla. You can actually upgrade him. I think that is such a cool concept, to be honest. Because... Upgrading Godzilla, that's like, what? You can upgrade Godzilla? Like, just imagine, you could upgrade him from, uh, like, fireballs or stuff like that. You know, you could do stuff like that. Just little upgrades, little by little, to encourage people to actually want to go, Hey, you know, maybe I should play this game a little, you know, maybe I should play it a little bit longer. To see if I can upgrade, you know, Godzilla and get him up to, uh, you know, level 4 monster or something like that. They, they could do something like that. And I know that, you know, I know that a lot of these game developer companies can, but they just don't want to. And I don't know why. I just think that would be, like, one of the awesomest comps concepts that you could ever get for a Godzilla game. And that's really all I gotta say about that. But, bleh. Hope that's the last stage. Yes. Yeah. But, you know, like I said, this game isn't bad. I actually enjoy playing this game. And, uh, you know, that's why I'm playing it for you guys. And I just think it's a cool game that goes kind of under, you know, the radar. For not being that cool. But, sometimes it can be a little hard. But I don't get it, though. Like, oh, crap. I want to actually exit out of it. Alright, there we go. So, what time is it? It's 10.04 a.m. I have 39% battery left. Alright. Moving on to Tokyo number 8. So, also, for... I guess just to basically get back onto the whole... Oh yeah, Blast Tiles. Oh, of course, they have to give me Blast Tiles. That I can't really do anything with, but anyways onto what I want to talk about. Like, you know, just with a little more, I guess I could go in more into depth with the Godzilla game idea. I think it would be a cool idea if they could actually incorporate monsters like, uh, Mudo, Gamera, you know, Varan. Wait, wait was Varan and Unleashed? I just basically want them to have all the monsters that, you know, weren't in games. I think Gamera would be a cool choice, though. So that'd be like, holy crap, it's Gamera. You can finally do Gamera versus Godzilla. And King Kong. You know, do King Kong. You could even do Wolfman. Wolfenstein. <laughs> that, that'd be funny. Crossover between Godzilla and Wolfenstein. But, I think that'd be pretty cool, though, if they actually did an idea like that. Where they get, you know, where they get all these monsters. And be like, hey, we should do something like this. You know, get all these monsters in one game so you can have them fight. It could be like a Smash Brothers for the kaiju. You know what? Scrap my idea. Do a Smash Brothers, but for kaiju. A kaiju Smash Brothers. Now, who doesn't think that's awesome? That would be like the most awesome thing ever. I would real. I would literally poop my pants. If they actually created something like that, you know, had Ultraman, Godzilla, Gamera, they, they would even have, like, Yungari and stuff like that. Gorgo, that would be a cool one to incorporate. Just
just all these opportunities. And I think a game like that would actually sell. There's been rumors and the, you know, little whispers in the wind about how they were going to come out with something like that for the Wii U. And I had my fingers crossed for that, but it looks like it's not coming out. The Godzilla game has been really, or the Godzilla movie has already been released, and that would have been the smartest time to actually, you know, do it. Or maybe a little bit after. Alright, so. But, I mean, that, that would be awesome. Just think of it. That, that would be really an awesome idea to do a Smash Brothers, but Godzilla. I mean, everybody knows how awesome Smash Brothers is. Yeah. But, anyways, uh, you know, speaking of Smash Brothers, I'm also kind of. I, I'm kind of into video games. You, you guys probably didn't know that, but. I'm kind of into video games, and I've been looking, uh, I've been watching E3 and stuff like that. You know, I, I was watching E3, and also just a bunch of, like, updates for Smash Brothers. And there's a few characters I've seen that look totally broken. If you guys don't know what broken me is, that just basically means that they're too powerful, they're too good for the game. You know, right away they're gonna just dominate, you know, it's gonna be horrible, and, uh, I think one of them was Rosalina, I, I think that was a, yeah, Rosalina, I think she was, I don't know what she was from, I, I think she might have been from, like, the Mario Galaxy, I have, I honestly have no idea, but I just remember that name, because I've never really been big into those Mario Galaxy kind of stuff, but she looks totally broken. Apparently, like, you can control, like, a star thing. You can also attack and stuff like that. And I think it's going to take a little time to get used to. But she looks broken. I mean, oh, talk about OP. And also Little Mac. Now, Little Mac, uh, Little Mac, if you guys don't know, he is supposedly the strongest character ever. Oh, crap, this is time. He's supposedly, though, the strongest character to ever hit Smash Brothers. And I, I forget the guy's name, but he does all the Smash Brothers stuff. And apparently, he uh, said that he's hitting at kilotons and stuff like that. And that's uh, pretty dang hard, actually. So, I mean, I, like, his, his weakness is... Like, if, as long as you have him in the air, you can probably win. But I don't know, he, he just looks and kind of sounds broken right off the bat. Like, kill, was it kilotons or megaton? I forget what it was, but it, it was pretty OP sounding. Uh, but, you know, just a bunch of these characters. And the villager looks pretty, pretty broken in my opinion. I don't know, but... It's just a lot of them. And they're also coming out with way too much stuff, like... I... They're coming out with way too much stuff. They should at least hide the characters. Now Pac-Man is available. Um, you know, I heard... I saw a video on it. I mean, all these characters are, like... Like, popping up. It's like, hey, why don't you just kind of keep them quiet, you know? You know, chill. Lay back a while. You don't have to exploit every character that's gonna be in the game. But I guess that's their, you know, kind of thing. But I kind of barely remember the, you know, the first release for the Wii, because I, I wasn't born, or at least, I, I don't know, but yeah, I wasn't born when they came out with the original Smash Brothers, of course. But I barely remember the Smash Brothers, you know, when it was first released, but I remember that I had no clue of, you know, who was going to be in it. That might have been the, you know, part of that might be, like, because I was kind of stupid, I didn't really pay attention. But, I don't know, I, th I just feel they're kind of releasing too much stuff, too much information too fast. I don't know, though. That's just me, though. You know, I mean, I don't know, if, if you guys really have an opinion on it, you know, go ahead and comment down below and tell me, because, whoa, that's cool. I'd really actually like to know, though. So... We're moving on. This Let's Play is actually fun. I actually really never get bored with this game. 
I get mad at it, but I never get bored. It's strangely addicting. Alright, 10, 11. I think we're on 10. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're on 10. We're on 10. I always, for some reason, get mixed up on 9. I'm like, is this the one? Is this, is this it? You know, that kind of thing. So, uh, let's see. At the end of this level, in case you guys can see that thing, the pop up thing that always is there that tells you about the mission, in case you guys can see that though, I'm not gonna spoil it. It's pretty cool though. This is like the best episode, or the best level so far, you know, in so far that we've gotten through. Of course, there's, you know, episodes just like this. Or why do I keep calling them episodes? I, I guess I can, but they're levels. But, this is a pretty cool level. So, I'm just gonna get past these guys. And I also want to, uh, retain as much life as I possibly can. So, ooh, almost. Almost, buddy. Almost. Are you gonna die? You're gonna die tonight. I really need to use that much, but whatever. Also, uh, today I'm going to read the Godzilla Awakening book again. I don't know why, but I never really felt like reading it again. Because, well, I got it the day of the movie, when the Godzilla movie was coming out, so I was like, hey, you know, I, I'm not, you know. So I was pretty excited about reading it, but yet it, I was still like, hey, you know, I just want to see the movie. So I didn't really pay that much attention to it. Although I kind of paid more attention because, uh, because it's a prequel to the movie. So let's just try to get past this. Wait, why am I doing that? I guess I can. That's a good idea. All right. Let's see. Attack. Alright. <laughs> What's that? Oh, it's the flying motor. It's the flying motor. Oh, no. Alright. I also like the blood. It's like, pretty cool. Boom, 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 boom. Also, the boss battles are, you know, boss battles are always cool in this game, so I, I will give it that. It kind of provides a cool, kind of epic feel to it. Die. Whoa. Die. This is for Monster Island. Alright. And final blow. Finish him. Yeah. I always love to do that. So smash time. Oh, I don't know if I told. I don't know if I said this in the video already. But uh, I'm doing five stages per episode. So yeah, that's it. We made it all the way up to level ten, though. So I guess that's it for this episode. So it's just. A panda, seriously. I've seen that ad way too, too many times. But, and there's one problem with the update I noticed that you always have to get those ads. But, so that's basically the whole video, though. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Please rate, comment, subscribe, give a big thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, and go cheer 5400 out.